Hello and welcome to Asago Academy. It's Asagao. Asiago Academy. It's Asiago Academy! Whoa, whoa! I'm really excited to play this. Oh my god. Yeah, like, it got to the point where, like, I had no idea that this game really existed. And then you you came over here and you were like, we need to play this game. And you told me there's a spunky redhead and I was it's like, sign me the fuck up. I, I, I'm a fan of Normal Boots and a recent fan of Him Block because of this game. Um, but I, I've been a fan for, of, like, Pro Jared, John Tron, yeah. and all of them for a while. And so I knew this game was a production, and I follow Heidi on, I follow Heidi, who's Pro Jared's wife, because she's a cosplayer, and I seen her hand, her Hana cosplays, I'm like, I need to play this game. I need to play this game. And then it came out, and I've been watching Pro Jared's playthrough of it with Heidi, which is fucking adorable. We'll link that if you guys want to watch more of this, but... And I, I was like, I texted her, I was like, we need to play this game. We need to play this game right now, immediately. <laughs> so, we're here. We're it's a little different than the stuff we normally play. I know, we're finally getting into the anime where I excel. <laughs> we're not killing anybody where I excel. That sounds weird. <laughs> uh, where the fuck did my mouse go? <laughs> okay, there we go. Play! play. If the and audio's then... weird, this is the first time we've ever recorded something on my computer, so. Chapter one. Look at how adorable she is. Oh my god. I want to see her grow healthy. <laughs> The train made its way along the gentle curve of the coast of Japan, whisking me further and further from home. Farther? Further? Further. I'll have to click. Oh, shit. And across from me sat a boy, face half buried in a newspaper. I thought it said half burned, and I was like, Zuko? <coughs> he was deeply entranced in whatever article he was reading, and hadn't spoken a single word to me, even when I asked if I could join him in the last compartment with any available space. He shrugged, nodded, and adjusted his newspaper without ever making eye contact. It had been almost an hour. In fact, he hadn't once looked at me. Devoid of conversation, I took instead to counting the buttons on the pretentious... What? Okay, pretentiously lush carmine seat cushions. One, two, three, twenty-one, twenty-two, and so forth over and over. Now and again, I turned to look out the window where the trees were blurring by. Sometimes she, the smeared green would break and reveal the quiet blue of the Sea of Japan. Why are we in Japan? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> Animu. Old dating sims have to be in Japan. Animu. Eventually, this, rapid, this rapidity made my stomach churn, and I went back to counting the buttons on the seat cushions. You know I've never gotten car sickness. Really? Never. I got, like, low-key car sick. One. Two. Three. Like, literally, I've read entire novels on car trips. Doesn't fucking bother me. That's fine with me as long until I, I look outside the window. Like, I can read, if, and then I love, if I look outside, it's like, what the fuck is this? And uh, I I'm sick. fine with that. The train compartment shuddered all around us. My eyes wandered to the boy and his jacket. It wasn't the school-issued blue that I and the other students on the train were wearing, and said it was green. Varsity-like jacket, with an embroidered patch poorly sewn on the front. Who's sewn on the patch? It's Stan! It's Jared! Look at him! It's Jared! Did you hear the audio for that? Because I did not. I didn't either. Okay. Do, you want, do you want to read it? Do you want me to read it? Uh, if I'm going to do honey, you okay. should do this. So you're a first year then. I don't know what the funny fuck you want from me! He folded his newspaper neatly, set it in his lap, and looked at me with a half-interested gaze. Did he just catch me staring? Now that the paper was gone, I saw his face. He watched me through heavy, lidded eyes. His hair was immaculately groomed, his teeth straight and blindingly bright. There was something about him. The way the light hit him, then made him look like he was almost... Sparkling? What the fuck is this? Is this Twilight? Me? He glanced around the compartment empty beside us and laughed. Oh, no, I, I'm not a first year. I'm a third year. The train began to slow, metal wheels groaning against metal tracks. <laughs> the sudden shift threatened to rob me of whatever was left in my stomach. Why is she so brief? But I closed my eyes and took a deep breath, willing myself to keep it together. Keep it together, Hana! Come on, Hana! You can do this! You talked to a boy for the first time in your life. You can do this. What kind of impression would I leave? P- 
puking on a student before I even arrived at the academy. Why is your voice so breathy? This is my dramatic narration voice. What the fuck do you <laughs> is want Is this from what Hana thinks like? Like, she speaks like this, and then she just constantly thinks constantly like Constantly thinking like this. Dramatic, romantic, breathy, I guess she and somewhat her. constipated. <laughs> <laughs> the boy frowned. I picked at the hem of my cotton skirt. That's not possible. I've never seen you before. It took me a moment of mouth fishing to find a response. I thought it said mouth fisting. <laughs> like, excuse me, boy, before I talk to you, I just gotta, uh, I just gotta put this in my mouth. Sorry. I, uh, it's because I'm a transfer student. <laughs> he laughed again. A transfer student, huh? We don't get many of those. Wait, that's I know that's the narrator voice. Oh boy, I'm already blurring my voices. Hit, Do you want me the narrator? No, or... I got it. Okay. I removed my acceptance letter from the front pocket of my uniform. The paper, heavyweight, off-white, had accumulated creases from my reading and rereading, as if the words might have changed since the last time I read it. And you say I'm pretentious. <laughs> the boy took it, studied it, then handed it back to me. Well then, Hana, I suppose I'll be seeing you around. He smiled at me as he picked up the suitcase lying next to him. By the time I hiccuped a response, he was already gone from the compartment. Where the fuck did he go? She said they (laughs) jumped out the window. (laughs) She said they were all full, and they clearly have not arrived. No, they arrived, because she's at the train stop, and she was like, oh, 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 I thought they hit something. Like, <laughs> she was like, I was like, oh, talk to a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I stared at the empty hallway of the train. And this is why I'm single. It was then that I realized he, having gotten hit, hadn't gotten it from my acceptance letter, knew my name, <laughs> and I never got his. The train settled oh, at the station. Music. And I filed out with the rest of the uninformed students. Uniformed students. Uninformed. <laughs> They're all idiots. This is actually idiot school. It was early April, and the last frost of winter had come and gone. Guess we can say winter isn't coming. Yeah, but it's probably some of the boys are. <laughs> the trees were already green, the leaves shivering in the occasional gust weaving through them. The air was mild, only a few clouds hanging in the sky. I walked along the road with a swarm of blue jacketed bodies, looking at the little groups breaking off from the crowd. We have zero friends because we're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that mentally. <laughs> I did that into the mic just because I knew I was reading this like this breathy, seductive voice, and then you just hear. This <laughs> <laughs> harmless way of no friends. We're MLG. Everyone was buzzing so animately toward around me. <laughs> toward Shut me. the fuck up. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. I held my suitcase tight in my sweaty hands. It was, le- it was leather bound and worth more than anything it contained. Well, Sell it on eBay. <laughs> you have to like click it, you can't tap it. It wasn't far to the school, and I was, for maybe the first time in my life, thankful that what I owned didn't amount to much. My school issued black oxfords, click, click, clicked on the pavement. This theme song is like, it's get me in the mood. I walked this over and over in my mind. So many nights I lay awake, imagining what it would be like to walk from the train station to Asiago Academy. Asiago! (laughs) You can't fucking make me say it. (laughs) Swear to God, you're the narrator! My new start. Did she kill someone? (laughs) Is it a murder romance? I always imagined that everything would change for me on this walk. That somehow, everything would be magically different. Honey, you gotta, like, sell your soul for that shit. But as I looked around, I realized nothing had changed. I hadn't changed. By the time I reached the massive gate to the academy, I forgot all about the disappointment slouching in the back of my throat. Can disappointment slouch? I don't know. I mean, I'm a disappointment I slouch, so Same. yes. <laughs> the school, framed by the gate's twisting black metal, was just as beautiful as the glossy photos I saw in the pamphlets. Oh, that was me. This was it. Asiago Academy. (laughs) (laughs) I glanced around. You're gonna hate me. The swarm of students gathered around the gate. Beyond it, teeny blue people bounced around the academy's main building. A girl pressed a button on one 
to one side of the gate. The excitement in the air was almost palpable. I thought it said pedophile. <laughs> I thought it was a few minutes later, the black gate, with great effort, creaked outwards and cleared the pathway. As the rest of the group shifted into motion, I followed along a sheep in the herd. Okay, I don't know what it is about this text, but I find it, like, shockingly hard to read, so I thought it said, like, shifted Mormon. <laughs> My stomach tied itself into knots. The crowd split off in different directions. For a moment, I panicked. What the fuck is this guy? Excuse you, that's Dumbledore. His eyes look like testicles. I wouldn't know. <laughs> His nose looks like one, though. You've never seen an accidental dick on Tumblr? Like, you're scrolling and somebody says... Well, the, I have, porn? but it's like my brain blurred it out for me. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I saw it and, like, I was conscious that, that it was what it was. But, like, all my years of Catholic middle school were like, don't look, it's a sin. <laughs> <laughs> a tired-looking man with graying hair called out for the first years. A cluster of fresh-faced students gathering around them. Oh, they haven't been destroyed by stress. They still have hope in their eyes. Hey, hey, look at that girl. It's a tall boy. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that girl. <laughs> I I'll turned. read the boys, you do the narration okay. in Hana. I turned. A few feet away, a small group of boys are, were pointing at me and snickering. That's, don't be fucking rude. Pink hair. Are you kidding me? How desperate can you get? It's a different boy, I don't <laughs> fucking care. They're all pompous assholes who use Q-tips to cling their ears. Hot shame crawled down my neck. I'm I attached myself to a group of girls, following a few steps behind them. Fucking hell, I have pink hair. Legitimately, I've had Hana's hair, and anytime anyone's like, "Oh, you have pink hair," and I'm like, "You want to fucking fight me?" Okay, but you're not Hana. True. Are you gonna dye your hair pink now? Uh, yeah, that was our plan. Oh, cool. In the distance, cicadas hummed in time with my shoes crunching against the gravel. Fucking cicadas. My hair. It wasn't my fault that my hair looked like this. Did you fuck up with red hair dye, or are you the main character? She's the main character, obviously. Uh, maybe it's both. Luckily, Primrose House! Luckily, I found myself at the girls' dormitory, a large sign in the lawn reading Primrose House. It's the color of her hair. The building dwarfed me in size and sheer intimidation. How many students did Asago have? I thought you said it was a Sago. <gasps> Hit me! As I approached the building, a red-haired girl lingering nearby caught my attention. I looked away, then looked back. She was staring at me. She walked over. Oh, you must be my roommate! Do I even have to voice that? Because she said it. <laughs> she's she has her intro. I eyed her warily. She was smiling and mounting in a way that suggested her views on life were akin to a perpetual bouncy castle. This really is an anime. What? Me? Bingo. Of course, you silly. Let me guess. Room three twenty five. I thought back to the paper I had received a month prior with the list of supplies I need for the year in my dorm arrangements. Uh, yeah, that's right. She laughed, but I still couldn't figure out what was so funny. Was she laughing at me? <clears throat> oh, God. When I found out my roommate was a transfer student, I knew you were going to be a total main character. I'm sorry? A what? When I saw you outside the gate, I knew it was you. I mean, look at that hair. I felt a lump forming my throat. What was she talking about? Stop being meta, my. I mean, girl whose name we don't know yet. She had to be making fun of me. I hadn't spent more than five minutes on campus and I was already being mocked. My hands began to tremble. Is, is there something wrong with my hair? Her face slackened from its amused smile to a more worried expression. Gotta click it. I'm clicking. Then she began to laugh again. <laughs> no, no, it's... me she's so cute protect her she's so cute i bowed my head it's nice to meet you my all your school books are waiting in our room with your welcome letter and i read the envelope what the <laughs> fuck my i hope you're not mad <laughs> what the fuck I started walking t 
towards the dorm's front doors. I followed behind like a lost puppy. Are you sure you're not Maya and I'm Hana? <laughs> Did you check in at the front desk already? No, I didn't. I didn't know that I was supposed to. Good. They'll offer to have a staff member give you a tour on campus, but I can show you around. We don't get many transfer students in year three, you know. Thanks, I know. I'm a fucking failure. Oh, is that your only bag? Just the one? I'm glad I brought an extra bag of stuff to decorate our room with. I started already. I hope you don't mind. Rich people that are somehow offensive, even though they have good, like, meaning. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> But I did wait to string the lights. I thought we could do it together, you know? She spoke quickly, the words bubbling from her mouth, and left me no time to answer until the end of her monologue. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. She held the front door open for me, and I hurried inside. I would want to live there, let's be real. pink. I like pink. I know, it's really pink. Girls filed up and down the hallways, howling greens, exchanging vague niceties that were, more often not, how was your break? And look at how tan you got. Actual school, though. Yeah. Like, seemed like everyone knew each other. Bitch, you're going to a school, you're rooming with third years, and you're like, why does everyone know each other? Like, they've had to deal with them for, like, three years. You either deal with them or you kill them. <laughs> and we obviously have been dealt with. <laughs> I followed Maya as she led me through the maze of students up two flights of stairs. Each storm floor looked like the same or looked the same as the last. Narrow white doors lying both the sides of pale pink walls. Thin gold numbers were tackled were tackled <laughs> tacked to the front of front of each, the numbers rising as we climbed. Numbers tend to do that. You're not missing anything with the campus tour. I promise. Mr. Saitomo does that in every year and he's like totally dull. He just drags you around the entire campus and talks in that weird, squeaky voice of his. I'll tell you everything you need to know. What if we lost my... I smiled, trying to let this calm my nerves. Thanks! We head down the hallway on the third floor. My stop is in front of the room number 325. Here we are. So what happened to her old roommate? She died. Really? I don't, I don't know. It could like, it just changes yearly she though. she killed her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a faint smell of potpourri wafted through the room. The walls, like hallways, were a soft, powdery pink. You're like, this is so pastel, and I'm like... I fucking love this. Oh my and god. And I'm like, did she kill someone? <laughs> <laughs> my already defaced them with tapestry of posters, magazine cutouts, and photographs. Mine might be you, though. Yeah. My. I've seen your room. It's literally just posters. There are no walls. Yeah. That's, that's true. Some of the photos were of cats. Okay, this is me. But most of them were male models and rugged musicians. I'm too gay for that shit. Yeah, but the other stuff, it's either cats or freaking movie posters. <gasps> oh my god, dog picture! And yes, my sister's name in my Snapchat is don't send gay things to. <laughs> <laughs> a bunk bed, two rag and dusting and with wooden chairs, a small dresser, and a mirrored vanity all clearly provided by the school were the only pieces of furniture in the teeny room. The top bunk was already covered in neatly tucked blankets and throw pillows of clashing patterns and colors. Me. The bomb bunk had a single stiff looking pillow and a thin cotton blanket that I didn't need to touch to know was horribly itchy. I must have grimaced because Mai quickly smiled at me. I brought way too many pillows and blankets. I always overpack. I went to Italy over break and mom got really mad at me because I brought five bags, but we were only there for a week. She is me. <laughs> She laughed, pulled several blankets of pillows from her bunk, and rearranged them neatly on mine. But she's so nice. A sudden, a sudden twinge of guilt and embarrassment hit me. There, much better. Thanks, my. I placed my suitcase on the bomb bunk and began to unpack its contents. That's how, that's how you pronounce it, right? I don't know. Yeah. Several changes of clothing, pens and pencils, empty notebooks, a few photographs of my father, a dilapidated stuffed rabbit, an old portable radio, and a small black box. Maya opened the curtains, and the sunlight poured in. So, where are you from? I set the now empty suitcase under the bomb bunk. Uh, about two hours north of here. It's a small town called Amarisuru. Maybe that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. You probably haven't heard of it. It's so fucking hipster, Hana. I set the stuffed rabbit, Mr. Bunny, on my bed besides a purple and teal throw pillow. I'm glad Hannah still has mm. stuffed animals because I know I do. Oh. Did you go to a different boarding school? Or? 
No, I went to public school down the street from my house. Public school? This is us. It's you. This is us. This is literally conversations we've had. Yeah. What was it like? Were the students mean? Did you have a lot of friends? I always went to private schools. My parents work a lot and my dad goes overseas, so they stuck me here for convenience. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh, hey. What's that? I'd removed an ornate or ornately patterned origami crane from the black box and was setting it on the, on the unclaimed writing desk. Oh, this? My mother made it for me oh, a long time ago. Her mom's dead. How much do you want to bet their mom has side pony? She fucking probably did. <laughs> she fucking had the side pony. You know you can't give birth to a main character and then have the side pony. I sat up, I sat beside a stack of thick textbooks, which I assumed were provided for me. Wow, it's so pretty. I've never seen paper like that before. Oh yeah, the lights. Let me get them. Because those lights totally aren't already up. <laughs> Maya went to her own desk, opened the drawer, and pulled out long, tangled string of fairy lights. I thought these would look nice. Here, help me string them up. She grabbed the container of pushpins, pulled out, then pulled out her wooden desk chair out. Oh, fuck. And over to one wall. I did the same with my own. You can't fucking use push pins on the wall. You get in trouble. They no, make you, you pay money. No. In dormitories, if you use the push pins to put holes in the wall, that you have to pay. Huh. You know what? This is <laughs> rich kid school, so maybe. I don't fucking know. Listen, we need fairy lights. Okay, They're okay, aesthetic. Okay, okay, okay. Together, we pin the lights around the perimeter of the room. How was the train ride over? Did you meet anyone? She fucking knows. No, not really. I was in that compartment with some guy and... She's still fucking straight. Some guy, huh? Was he cute? Also, we can look at the TV. That's what I've been oh, doing. Oh, I've been looking at the computer. Oh, oh, so you guys might not know, this might be getting meta, but we're projecting uh, the laptop onto the comp- onto the TV, and I've been reading off the TV. I've been reading off the laptop like a fucking idiot. you've been reading off the idiot. tiny laptop. I'll, I'll, put, I'll take a picture and put it in the video. Okay. Oh, um, I guess, I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention, I didn't even get his name. Aww. It's a horrible picture. <laughs> Might seem disappointed for a moment, then perked back up. You'll have to print him out for me if you, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> she wants my husband to! She wants the nudes. <laughs> <laughs> she wants the pro Jared nudes. You'll have to point him out to me if you see him again. Oh, uh, okay. Once we finished stringing the lights, Mike climbed down from her chair and brushed her hands together triumphantly. Yeah. Done! Okay, now it's time for lunch. The food here is pretty good. There's this ramen place down the street from campus that's like out of this world. But the school only lets us leave campus on weekends. I walked to the window. We could go today because it's Sunday and it's pretty nice out, but I guess you might want to go to the calf since you just got here and we could... <laughs> she was suddenly interrupted by her own enthusiastic Me. laughter. Oh my gosh, Mimi Santos totally just tripped outside and fell on her face. I saw it. Fucking savage. Savage. Oh, is that mean to laugh? Maybe I shouldn't have. No, be savage, Mike. Oh, well. Anyways, let's go eat. I'm totally starved. <laughs> she led me out of the room before I had even a chance to respond. The cafeteria was buzzing when soon excited for the new year. You ever, like, the first day of school where, like, you're like, yeah, oh, my God, high school, this year's going to be great. The illusion of productivity. And then by, like, three days in, you're just like, I hate everything. I want to die. The world is alive. Okay, but look at my cat right now. I'm taking a picture. Okay. Well, the cat picture will be in. The only people, the only people nerv- as nervous looking as I felt were the tables of skish, wide-eyed first years. I stepped into line behind my, taking the empty plastic tray. We shuffled through, asking for helping from the sulky cafeteria workers when we passed something that looked good. With full trays, my to- led me straight to a table in the back where a few students were already sitting. My sat down, and I took the seat from across from her. Sorry, my cat's being really cute right now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is it freezing? It freezes if you click it. Not if you. Oh, do you want me to read her? Do you want to read her? Hi, Mai. How was your break? It was good. I went to Italy and Spain. Dad fell off a ski jet and broke his ankle. Uh-huh. It's better now, though. Oh. Well, um, that's nice. 
I expected to be introduced, but the girl turned back to the group of friends and my turned back to me. She began to assault, food, assault her food with a fork and tell me in a practically minute-by-minute detail, uh, or in a practically minute-by-minute account about her fleeting romance last summer with the boy she met on the beach that didn't go further than a few salty kisses. I sat back and let my talk. For the first time since arriving on campus, I felt like I was finally able to breathe. Did she take a bra off in her room, or...? You never know. I picked up my Brussels sprouts and said, my as she spoke, why the fuck are we eating Brussels sprouts? They're fucking delicious. Oh my god, no. The more she talked, the more I began to know small details about her. Hannah, that's gay. She had a high oh. song per- uh, songbird voice. What? She was dynamic, her face twisting this way and that into exaggerated expressions as she spoke. You. I am. Holy shit. She laughed often. She would intimidate people in widely unflattering voices, seemingly unrelated to her actual opinion of them. You've heard my impression of my dad, so... (laughs) And notably, she talked. A lot. I didn't find this particularly annoying, as it filled silence and she hardly asked questions that required my full attention. Just as Maya was rounding off the shockingly detailed account of the time she accidentally walked on her friend's older brother in an act of changing, a flash of familiar green caught my eye. Oh, shit! I glanced over. Hey, that's him! Huh? Who? I leaned across the table to whisper, just in case she, he could hear me through the ambient chatter of the lunchroom. The boy from the train! That's him! Oh, it's self voicing is enabled. Do you want to disable it? No. Hey. Jared? Oh, yeah. With self voicing disabled. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> um, yeah. With the, green, with the weird green jacket and swoopy hair. He just picked up his tray and was walking past us when something seemed to catch his eye. It's how hot I am. Hmm. Oh, you? I looked up at him, suddenly realizing he was talking to me. <laughs> Piano music. He's ha- sparkling. Hannah, I met you on the train. How are things settling down for you? You want to settle down with us? <laughs> on us. <laughs> <laughs> really well. I found my roommate and she's been helping me out. I just heard to my who was thunderstruck. Who was thunderstruck? In fact, looking around, everyone was. People stopped eating to turn and stare at Jared at me. My shoulders bunched around my neck. Well, if you ever need any help, I'll be around. Third year, right? I nodded. So my friends are in that year. Of course, they can't compare to me. But I'll give them some heads up to look out for you. He flashed at me a dazzling smile, then winked. (laughs) It's the least I can do for such a cute girl. You know Jared's, like, probably touched one boob in his life and that was his mother's as he breastfed. (laughs) Okay, look at my though. Oh, like her face just got even more. Well, well, I'll see you around. Oh, I'm not Jared. I watched. Oh, I hit the mic. Sorry. That's I watched. Cool. A torrent of thoughts raging in my through my head as he took a seat next to a bunch of guys who were all wearing the same jacket. And then Maya's just like, ah! That's that's Jared. She tore her eyes away from him and looked at me. He's so cute. He's the most beautiful guy in school. I can't believe he just looked at me. I looked to Mai. Her cheeks were glowing an an indecent pink. Why? Oh. Why do they all wear those jackets? Aren't guys supposed to wear blue blazers as part of their uniform? (coughs) No, they're allowed to. They're... You know... Oh, wait, that's me. You know Jared? The girl turned back around and was looking at me with sudden interest. I... (coughs) <coughs> Did I know him? I only talked to him on the train for a few minutes, so not really. It's not like we were friends or anything. But looking around, my and the girls weren't the only ones interested. Everybody seemed to be listening in. They seemed so surprised when he talked to me. Maybe a little white lie couldn't hurt. Do we do we lie? Oh or? god, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, we talked to him twice. Is it clutching? Yeah, but I mean, we probably talked to Mai like yeah. the same amount, and I would say she's our friend. We gotta cut the video. Okay, you know what? We're gonna say this, even though we just said what we're gonna choose. Check our video, subscribe. We love you. We're gonna play more Alice Academy because okay? I mean, it's fucking cute. <laughs> Look at 
Look at the wall! Yes. Dude, she's so adorable. Look at Shane. You can't be representing us like this. I thought that said that you capture me. <laughs> yeah, we kidnapped him. Look it me. Boy. The beach episode. There's a beach episode? There's a picture for it. Aww. Aww. Straight. <laughs> Not so straight. Not straight. It's okay, Paul. Look, it's him, Black. Look, there's Jimmy, my son. <laughs> All the other characters we don't care about. Everyone is so fucking kawaii. Oh. No. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah. Oh, Yikes. Scarlet Academy. 